number one issue in this race uh, is jobs and the economy, and where's the state going? Uh, I come from an area where right now we've been lucky enough to have unemployment almost 2.5% below the national average, uh, and we took an area that was on its back six years ago and it turned it around. But, but we did that by creating an environment for the private sector to thrive, and that means not just getting a tax structure that's competitive, but also recognizing you've got to have the properly trained workforce for the jobs of the future. Uh, and that is key. Uh, we talk about an environment, a friendly business environment. You go from the tax rates to the permitting process, be it PennDOT, DEP, and if a company asks for a permit, they're not the enemy. They're asking, they're asking for a permit to invest capital and to bring jobs to a region, and they have a right to have an answer within four months, not two years, uh, and having a sort of a friendly or open for business sign. And the third piece is really, are we prepared for the jobs of the future? Are we going to have the properly trained workforce for the jobs of the future? And this place here shows you that Americans and Pennsylvanians, we can actually make things yet. It's about putting people back to work. Uh, and you team up with what's going on with the both tech schools that are in the, uh, the public school systems to sort of the next phase of both tech, and that's in these types of buildings. I mean, community colleges are different today than they were 20 years ago. Uh, it's, if you look at advanced manufacturing, uh, it's very highly computerized. These are technical jobs. Uh, these are jobs that you need specific training for. Uh, and the best investment we can make as a government is making sure that we put our limited dollars into the proper training for the workforce of the future. Uh, and community colleges are our best examples. Uh, in theory, and I realize it changes a little bit based on the percentage of the local match, but community colleges usually have uh, a third, a third, and a third. That's how they fund them. A third coming from the state, a third coming from a local sponsor, in this case, uh, the county, in my case, the county, and a third coming from uh, the student, or maybe a sponsoring, somebody sponsoring the student being the corporation. But it's a partnership. It's a partnership that makes sense. And as, uh, if I'm fortunate enough to win this race, we're going to keep investing in this type of education. Uh, because if we want to be able to get the jobs back to the state, uh, and, and we are going to work on the corporate tax structure, we are going to work on the permitting, but I want to be able to offer to employers around the world and around the country and our employers right here in the state that we're able to train the workforce of the future. You put a plant here, we'll give you the workforce. You need a specific train uh, profession, we'll train them. You know, one of the things that we've done very successfully at home uh, in Allegheny County, uh, when this economy took a turn for the worst, uh, we put a program together where anybody that was laid off uh, would show up, and if they gave us a laid off notice and proved they were laid off, uh, we would offer them two year training for free at our community college if they go into one of five specific programs that we designed for companies in our area that we know are having a hard time finding trained individuals. Uh, we had 500 people inquire within one week. 100 people actually entered the program, and that continues to grow as we speak. And every one of these individuals have a job guaranteed for them when they leave because the companies are waiting uh, for these trained individuals. And it didn't really cost us an additional penny. We changed some of the curriculums that we currently had. We live within the budget that we had, and we now have people working. We could do that easily statewide. And this facility here that we're standing in, it's ahead of the curve. It's already providing the training for the jobs in this region. I was told, I asked a question when did this open around 2006, how many people came through there. They said well over a thousand, if not a couple thousand. Now there are, that's thousands of people that are working because they were trained here. I've uh, said so if you don't think that's a good investment, uh, that's, a, that's a heck of an investment to have that many people trained that, that are continue to work with a specific skill. So I, uh, I'm glad to be here today. Uh, I'm glad we have representatives from the city, from the county, from the community college. Uh, and I'm prepared to uh, uh, answer any questions you might have for me as we continue to campaign through this Commonwealth.